Welcome back, Paige Hammonds is here and she's gonna help us put together some really cool DIY pet toys with things you have laying around the house. Yes, yeah. yes, and Abigail has agreed to help me here. Yes. All right, You've Abigail. You've got two dogs at home, right? Yes. When are they? Well, I have a Labrador Retriever mix mm -hmm. and a Chihuahua Terrier mix there. The Chihuahua Terrier mix is named Bailey, and mm -hmm. she's brown. And mm -hmm. Jess, he's a Chihuahua, he's a Labrador Retriever mix, uh -huh. and his name is Jess, and he's like a vanilla color. Okay. But he likes balls. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. I have made these yeah. for big dogs and little dogs, so I think both of your dogs are going to be able to play with these. Now, this is just a regular tennis ball. If you have a retriever, they love tennis balls anyway. Yeah, they do. But if you don't, they won't go. My other dog is like, you throw that, you go get it. I'm not. <laughs> um, yeah. And I've bought so many pet toys that are so expensive. And yeah. they're alone with the dogs and cats for a couple, maybe an hour before right. it's destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah. So I say save your money. It's DIY right. it. Okay. So the first one we have here is, I mean, you could just put treats out, but they're going to be gone. Mm -hmm. right. And you want to stimulate your cats and dogs when you're not there. And I'm okay. gone all day. I'm, we're here all yeah. day. So we want to make sure they have fun at home. So, Abigail, I'm going to do this away from you. This is actual, actually a knife. And what you want to do, and here's a tip. If you cut into these, don't slice, because then you could maybe cut your finger. Just go, let me push this out of the way. Just push in down like that. Pull it back up wow. and go down again. And you keep going all the way around. Now for little dogs, like your little chihuahua mix, I would say do a little star. So that look, when you push that, all oh, nice. treats are inside. So it's easier for the dog to open. It's a little bit easier. And then for the big dogs, you can just do one big long thing. And I tried these out with my dogs at home last oh, night. Oh, I got yeah, it. I have yes. a bulldog. Yeah, I have a big dog and a little dog, like a big dog. And there, there's Aww. Juno. And Aww. yep, oh she God, is, yeah, at first she's like, okay, no, this is this is for you, but no, nope, I smell treats inside. And you can oh. kind of see them dropping out, yeah. and so she would she would let them drop out. Oh, oh that is me congratulating my dog. <laughs> and no one needs to hear that. Okay, so you could probably make it as tough or as easy as possible, depending on yeah, yeah, breed, yeah, what exactly. size they are and how quick they are at getting it. You know, if they're really fast, you're gonna go through treats yeah. really, really yes. quickly. But let's move on to the kitties. I have three cats and. Again, Again, they need stimulation all day too. Yeah. Well, this is called a cat puzzle. And you can see it's made out of very high class material. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is a leftover Pepperware. container. Yes, yeah. something very similar, but even cheaper than that. Yeah, disposable. It, disposable, exactly. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do, and I'm going to try it on this little one. If you have a little kitty, I have three cats, so I gave them a little more surface area. But all you want to do is cut holes, and I'm using this bottle. You can use any bottle. This happens to be catnip. You can use any bottle to go ahead and use a Sharpie all the way around, and then you cut it out and put little treats inside. And as you can see here, I put little little balls with bells on them, and I did some video oh, last oh, night of the oh. kitties. Ooh, okay, this oh, is Eros and so Simba, cute. and they are trying, normally, I read online that it takes cats hours and hours to get them out, and it took mine about 30 seconds. Are you so serious? I don't want to brag, we, but oh! oh. Yes. But they're kind of amazing. Yes. And so they were playing with them. Wow. They put them all back in and were playing with it for hours. I had to take it Definitely. away to get to sleep last night. It's like your cat had something sticky on her paw. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's the claw. They're the, the claw. claw. The claw. Okay. Yeah. And I want to show you guys a tip at home. See these edges? They look mm. a little burnt. That's exactly what they are. You can take sandpaper mm. or you take uh, a little a lighter. lighter and go around so then it's soft and they won't so hurt their little kitty paws. And so that Aww. it doesn't move around on wood floor, we have these. Mm. And these are just little tabs that you stick on the bottom oh, and it just neat. makes it yeah. sticks in place. That's exactly. Great. Now this is brilliant. I know Fred would be all about that. I want to Fred eat. would have that gone. I could if I took that home and shot a video of it, it would be yes. 30 seconds. Well, this yeah. is a My popsicle. Bulldog, same thing. Oh. Forget it. A popsicle. So what you do is you fill one of these at, at home, put their puppy treats inside of it, freeze it overnight, and in the morning, yes, the bigger dogs will go yeah. through it very quickly, but I was actually at my friend's house, Trevi's house, and these are her two dogs, and it took them a little bit. Do you hear all the tiny little crunching? They're tiny little, they're, they're yeah. puggles. <laughs> And they worked on it for about 45 minutes this morning and only got to one of the treats. So this is something that will keep them busy all yeah. and day. And keep them hydrated in this crazy yes. heat. Exactly. It's warming up. Popsicles for the pups. Popsicles for us. That's adorable. Yes. Yes. 